say yes to Growing Boulder Adventures. We're taking you on the trip of a lifetime to Antarctica and back, and we'll introduce you to an 11-person crew of unforgettable and inspirational characters. Then... Oh, it's incredible, Mark. I, you know, I, it just never ceases to amaze me that they can, uh, they can do things like this, you know? A three-time gold medal winning Olympic swimmer brought to tears by four swimmers whose ages add up to over 360. See what they did that's never been done before and what it could mean for you. And he's still holding the line in the music business. We'll talk with a singer of one of America's most successful bands to see how he bounced back from a shocking split. Now on Growing Boulder. The moral of the story is really follow your heart. Live your life to the fullest. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it. So get out there, take some chances, find something you love, and make it your lifestyle. Make no mistake about it, it's a revolution. Welcome to Growing Boulder, where we are rebranding aging by proving it is never too late to start living life to the fullest. I'm Bill Schaefer. And I'm Mark Middleton, and we're coming to you from the Growing Boulder house. These are our offices and production studios in Lake Nona, Florida. And if you're still searching for the fountain of youth, stop. You have everything you need right now to be happy and healthy for decades to come. But if you don't use it, you will lose it. Study after study reveals that the true key to longevity is staying active. If you want to keep moving, you have to keep moving. It's that simple. We're hardwired to move. It's in our DNA. So get back into a sport or activity that you once loved or try something new. And if you need inspiration, stick around for the next 30 minutes. We begin with a master class in active longevity. Now, what you're about to see takes place in a swimming pool, but it's really not about swimming. It's about battling back and moving forward. It's about the importance of friends and the power of dreams. It's about what it takes for ordinary people to live extraordinary lives. Just like a couple of high school superstars, John Course and Ed Graves are studying the heat sheet at the Rowdy Gaines Masters Classic, underlining their events, checking out their lane assignments. Ed and John are the two oldest swimmers in a meet filled with former high school, college, and even Olympic athletes. And together with Betty Lorenzi and Joan Campbell, they're about to make swimming history. This fabulous foursome is attempting to break a world record in the 200 meter freestyle relay. Their ages? 86, 89, 92, and 93. Combined, that puts them in the 360 plus age group. The record thereafter was set a decade ago by a team from Japan. Meet host and three-time Olympic gold medalist Rowdy Gaines stops the meet momentarily to let the crowd and the other swimmers know what's about to happen in lane number one. Hey Ed, are we giving you the jitters? Well, a little bit, yeah. 92-year-old Ed Graves is the leadoff swimmer. Each team member will swim 50 meters, two laps freestyle. Next up is the youngster in the group, 86-year-old Joan Campbell, who never swam a lap until she was 59. I started swimming after my children quit. And these may be the two biggest laps of her life because the team is now ahead of world record pace. The third leg is swum by 89-year-old Betty Lorenzi. Betty couldn't compete last year and had a pretty good excuse. Unfortunately, she had to miss the meet last year due to the fact that she was recovering from a fall where she broke her neck. But she's back. Battling back from a broken neck at age 89 and going for a world record. The anchor man is 93-year-old attorney John Course, who is about to deliver the closing argument. As the seconds tick by, it's now apparent that the record will fall and that all here are witnessing a life-affirming demonstration of what's possible with passion and perseverance. 
What happens when ordinary people refuse to let life put them on the sidelines? They don't just break the world record, they obliterate it by 15 seconds, stunning a guy who knows something about breaking world records. It's incredible, Mark. I, you know, I, it just never ceases to amaze me that they can, uh, they can do things like this, you know. You and I were just talking about we're going to be there 30 years and I just can't even imagine, so it's proud. Uh, you know, I had grandparents that never had this, they never exercised and uh, just to be able to have this, it just means a lot to me that they could be here at my meet, you know? It really was pretty cool. It's a world record, but more importantly, it's a master class in active longevity. Just keep trying, despite everything that comes up, and everything does come up, but uh, if you just stay at it, that's what counts. I heard a rumor that you had a broken neck a year ago. That can't be true. Oh, yes it is. How do you come back from a broken neck in your age to set a world record? What's the secret? Swimming. <laughs> really? I'm serious. Swimming helped me. Accepting the never-ending challenge of aging and celebrating the never-ending opportunities. They just did one, and now they're anxious to do the other. Well, I'd love to celebrate with champagne, but I'm on heart medicine right now. They won't let me drink anything alcoholic. So I guess I'll celebrate with the Virgin Mary. So John says he can't he can't drink tonight. What about you? I'm, I'm gonna make it up for him. <laughs> and a few hours later, they toast one another, their new world record, and the good time still ahead. I'm still learning about life. That's what's helped me along. Do you still enjoy life? Yes, especially when I break world records. It's a relay team of hope, inspiration, and possibility, teaching by example the secrets to active longevity. <laughs> to be passionate about a sport that you enjoy, uh, to really care about your health and take good care of yourself, and to pursue it with great gusto and enjoy life. And I need to make some changes in my life after this meet. <laughs> Weren't they amazing? They're great. You know, we can all make changes in our lives, and one of the most important ones is simply to get moving and stay moving. Doesn't it seem like it takes a mindset that tells you to get involved, to join into things, to do something? Because active longevity means get off the couch and get moving. And find a way to do it with friends, because one study after another confirms that as we age, low social interaction is actually more harmful to our health than smoking, drinking, or obesity. Now, that doesn't mean those things are okay to do, but it does does underscore the importance of personal relationships, especially with people of all different ages. So where do you start? Well, you could dive right into swimming. Doesn't matter if you're good at it or not, you'd be surprised how supportive and empowering the master swimming community is. Now, if you'd rather stay out of the water, go for a walk. And then maybe turn the walk into a run. That's what Ann Cowell does. And you better believe that if you're in a race and you look up to see someone in a shirt that says you've been passed by an 86-year-old, well, that'll get your attention. Ann says you've got to get involved. And that once you do, you start Start living life to a whole new beat, one that she believes we all can get down with. Anybody she runs into, she just t tells them little tidbits about life, and that little tidbit can, can turn into a whole life transition, and she's really a great, great woman. You're amazing. Oh, so are you. Thank you for inspiring me to keep going. Thank Stay you. With it. You cannot sit in a chair and say, I can't do that. No, you can't. You cannot do that. I, I don't take any medications, not any. Um, I, I just, I don't even have any health insurance besides Medicare, that's it. My health insurance is on my feet, my running shoes, that's it. More proof that it's never too late. Anne didn't start running until she was 50. And that's not all she does. She also leads workout sessions in her backyard pool and has even written a book on exercises that you can do in the water. 
By now, we hope you're getting the growing bolder message that it's not about age, it's about attitude. You know, every day is an opportunity to change your life for the better, and it is never too late to start. And we can provide the inspiration 24-7 through the examples of ordinary people that are living extraordinary lives. More information about these record-setting swimmers and call and hundreds of others who are part of the Team Growing Boulder movement is available at growingbolder.com slash TV. Well, truth is, great examples are everywhere, proving that no matter what your situation is, you can start growing bolder. Listen, if there's one thing we all have in common, it's that we're going to face adversity. Growing bolder is about how you face it. You know the expression, the bigger they are, the harder they fall? Bobby Kimball fell really hard. Do you know that name? Because you do know his voice, and you're about to know his story. Toto was one of the most successful bands of the 80s. The voice of Bobby Kimball was a big part of the reason why. The songs Rosanna, Africa, and Hold the Line all made it to the top five, something that to this day, Kimball is extremely proud of. Nobody sang anything else on Hold the Line. I sang all the backgrounds and all the leads. I sang most of Rosanna. I sang the chorus on Africa. And everyone told me, oh my God, we loved Africa because of the chorus. <laughs> well, I sang all the biggest hits Toto did. Kimball and the band were on top of the world. They won multiple Grammys. The album Toto 4 went triple platinum. But that would be the last Toto album Kimball would sing on for over a decade. He was fired after a drug charge that was later dropped. Well, it was very tough getting asked to leave Toto in, in 1984. My God, that was tough. Kimball did the only thing he knew how to do. He formed his own band and headed out on tour. I had such an incredible solo band. We started traveling more than Toto did. <laughs> we were on the road more. And on the road is where he's been ever since. To Bobby, performing is his passion. It's what kept him not just alive, but vibrant after all these years. On my 69th birthday, I felt like I turned 25. <laughs> really? Absolutely. I'm, I'm on the road about 200 or 250 days a year, everywhere on this planet. And I absolutely adore doing that. Physically, he says he's honestly never felt better. And vocally? You still have the pipes? <laughs> Gonna take a lot to drag me away from you! No, I can't sing anymore. <laughs> and he still has plenty of fans, including one who dropped in unexpectedly to say hi at a recording session at Solar Studios, guitar legend Pat Travers. Yeah. Man, look at you. You're tank, baby. You're looking awesome. <laughs> I feel good. Yeah, you always do. You know, I got I some songs that I would love to record with your band. Awesome. That would be great. Yeah. Even at 69, there's nothing he enjoys more than sitting down at the piano and melting the years away. It's not in the way that you hold me. It's not in the way you say you can. It's not in the way you've been treating my friends. It's not in the way that you stare to the hand. It's not in the way you look at the things that you say that you do. Hold the line. Love isn't always.
this world and I absolutely adore it. And I saw so many different kinds of life. You learned, you learn how people live their lives all over the world if you're, if, if you're traveling through, you know, the whole planet. Not bad for a little kid from the swamps. <laughs> well, you knew I was from Louisiana? Did you ever even dream that you'd be doing what you're doing now? I knew because the first band I had, I was eight years old. And I've never been outside of a band since I was eight. That was only 61 years ago. <laughs> Just watching and listening, and it's apparent that that eight-year-old is very much alive inside him. And all these years later, it's these words of wisdom Bobby got as a child from the neighborhood shoeshine man that he's never forgotten and continues to hold close. Do not spend a moment of your life full of hate or full of anger. He says, and my best advice for you, from this second, right now, until the day you die, please, he says, live every second of your life doing only things that will make you the happiest person you could possibly be. And you're asking me why I'm so happy to be on the road 200 or 250 days a year? It's because of him. Bobby Kimball is forever grateful for that advice and for the fans who turn out at his shows around the world to thank him for his role in some of the most memorable music of their lives. Boy, how interesting that to Bobby, it's all about perspective. If you can take control of your own destiny, you can keep doing what you love. And even if you end up facing unexpected obstacles like he did, you won't be as likely to give up hope. Yeah, in a very real way, we have all been programmed to give up, brainwashed about what our lives are supposed to be like as we age. Growing Bolder is flipping that narrative because age is not a disease, it's an opportunity. We're also committed to providing the tools and the educational resources resources to help you navigate the challenges of life as you age, like caregiving. Did you know that more than 34 million Americans are caregivers for another adult and nearly 40% of those suffer from depression because caregiving is a tough job? Amy O'Rourke is one of America's top advocates for caregivers and their families. Well, you have to be forceful. I think you have to be patient. I, what I found, and there's so many really good physicians, but they're in a hurry. They're on a time clock. They gotta pay attention to volume. They don't always have the time that's required to have the conversation, so I have to say we're going to take the time, and if now's not the time, let's talk when you do have the time, because this is important, and I have to be firm I try to be nice, but very firm and say, we're not going to make a decision until we get absolutely the time we need to make the decision. I have had a, a, a client take a feeding tube out so she could move into assisted living. The doctor was so mad at me, yelling at me, and I just stood there and let him yell. There wasn't anything I could say. He had a right to be mad and to be frustrated and to be scared that he might get sued. My job was just to stand there until I got what I wanted for my client. But I think it's important for anybody that's advocating to know the person that you're trying to advocate for and follow their values, not your own. More information about the art of caregiving is available at growingbolder.com slash TV. Now something else Growing Boulder is about is not waiting too long to do the things you really want to do and that means making opportunities to add a little adventure to your life. Yeah, our Wendy Chioji has been saying yes to adventure for decades and recently that led her to another very special expedition. Wendy was part of an 11 person crew that sailed on a very small boat through the dreaded Drake Passage to the continent of Antarctica and back. Yeah, it's a trip that's not for the faint of heart or for the sick of 
of stomach either, but Wendy says those rough seas were worth it for everything she experienced along the way. Here's her latest Growing Boulder adventure. Hi, we're in the Grand Passage sailing on the ocean tramp through Antarctica. We left southern Argentina just a few days ago. We've seen seals, literally thousands of penguins, and a bunch of whales I'm gonna tell you about coming up. But I also wanna tell you about a special crew that we have on board as well. It was often like we were sailing on another planet. The landscape is stunning and beautiful, but rugged and harsh. Still, just about everywhere you look, there is life. <laughs> oh, this is the most boring trip I've ever been on. <laughs> Donna Melshaw was 75. She says her family initially forbade her to accompany her 20-year-old granddaughter, Meryl Adam, on this trip. Right. You get the feeling she's used to getting her way. She's all about adventure. It gives you good memories and you don't just go stale. Gosh, if you don't get out and do things, you just kind of slowly but surely just kind of fade into the background. It was on my bucket list. We also had Heike Stadler on board. She's 77 and my travel companion, and took about 90 seconds to say yes when invited to come along. The German says, if you don't move, you start rusting. So I don't want to rust, so I'm just going, keep on going. And keep on going we did. The ocean tramp sailed through the days and anchored on a different South Shetland island just about every night. Every evening we said there was no way the next day could be more incredible, and every day we were proven wrong. There was the day huge icebergs blocked our passage. So we stayed for a while. We are standing on an iceberg. There's the ocean tramp. Here's me standing on an iceberg. Sea ice. The beauty of a smaller vessel is that you're nimble and can change your trajectory quickly. The afternoon on the sea ice was a highlight. We were also a whale experiment crew. French researcher Bertrand Bouchard had us throwing stinky krill over the side of the boat as part of his experiment to see if whales have a sense of smell or taste. We photograph whales who come near, sometimes very near. This information is super useful first to understand how the whales uh, can find their feeding grounds and uh, if, for example, uh, the climate changes uh, influence on the on the krill patches on the krill product productivity, uh, could they still be able uh, to locate them? The info could also help us understand migration routes, so we could set up travel corridors with no fishing and limited boat traffic. And speaking of boat traffic, our captain Fede Guerrero. I decided to quit my job and dedicate my time, full time, to this project. The project being Coyote Expeditions, the charter sailing company he owns with his wife, Laura Smith. Both are free spirits who share their passion for sailing with people like us. It is always a challenge to make a business uh, starting from zero, basically, uh, but uh, it's a nice, good challenge. Beautiful. It's impossible to convey the breadth and the depth of the beauty that surrounded us for nearly a month in Antarctica. This was my seventh continent, and no doubt I saved the biggest adventure for last. Wendy Shioji for Growing Boulder. Yet another incredible adventure for Wendy, who as a cancer survivor has decided she will never say no to opportunity. And hey, that attitude has taken her to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, and in recent years she's also gone to Thailand, Australia, and Egypt, even Bolivia and Vietnam, all while she's battling a rare form of cancer called thymic carcinoma. You know, Wendy says she's learned to say yes to adventure whenever possible, something we all could probably stand to do more often. Resist the urge to say no and just say yes.
That may be one of the most important life lessons of all because our later years don't have to be filled with disease, disability, and disappointment. It is possible to lead lives of passion and purpose into our 90s and beyond because we see it every day. And remember, aging is not a disease. It's an opportunity. So get out there, make a difference in someone's life, do what you love, take some chances, and have some adventures. Yeah, if you want to change the way you age, you have to change your perceptions about aging. How we age is determined to a large extent by our belief systems about aging. So stop simply growing older and start growing bolder, and we'll see you next time. Recording and Mark set up. So we're coming out of a package, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, I'm sorry. So uh, this is coming out, this is the tag. Oh, oh, Bill and I have already tagged that package. Right? You know, something else we that Boulder is about is not waiting too long for trucks to drive by the neighborhood. We have a dump truck about to come by too. I didn't read through all of that before I changed the end of the second show, so it will be a little redundant, but I think it'll be okay. Sure, yeah. Nice. The sun being a little brighter, it will brighten my read. Okay, I look forward to seeing if that's true. More information about all of the stories you've seen here today is available at growingbolder.com slash TV. And you can get inspired to keep rebranding aging when you connect with the Growing Boulder community on Facebook. Growing Boulder is available on DVD for $19.99 plus shipping and handling. A companion book, Growing Boulder, Rebranding Aging by Mark Middleton, is available as well for $29.99 plus shipping and handling. And you can subscribe to Growing Boulder Magazine for $19.99. Order online at growingbolder.com slash TV.